Alright, hi guys, welcome back to the stream. If you're just joining us, we're just about to start the Wise Shorts uh, quarter-finals match here. I'm Matthew, uh, you saw me just now doing the Wise Shorts announcement, and we also have uh, Kit King here. Uh, maybe you want to do a quick introduction about yourself? Yeah, I'm Kit from the YouTube channel Burn1. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of Wise commentary on there. So. Alright, right. Okay, so um, we're just about to start the players are getting ready. Uh, they're uh, shuffling, they're shuffling their decks right now. So, uh, Kit, so maybe tell us a little bit more about the, the channel, the things you've been doing so far. Oh yeah, I do like a lot of reviews and everything on uh, different sets that come out and do a few um, uh, commentary videos over matches and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you do, do you think of these things like a, maybe like a meta game analysis? Yeah, I, mean, I think yeah. I saw a video like that before, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually mm -hmm. I have a lot of top players come in and talk about the meta and right. other things like that. Mm, okay, great. I think, uh, I think they're just about ready to start the game, so uh, seems like... Do you happen to know what the matchups are? I think you said one of the guys uh, yeah, was playing so the, Love Life. Yeah, the player on the left there, he's playing uh, Sunshine, I know that. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I do not know the player on the right. Okay, so maybe we'll see in just a little bit what yeah. he's going to play. Uh, what do you think about the current meta game here right uh, in, the, in the World Finals? Uh, it's really hard to say because a lot of players came in with new decks that I wasn't right. expecting when I was talking uh, with people on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people got off AOT for whatever reason and right. came in with the new new decks and especially yeah. Konosuba and ReZero came out recently oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and both of those are really powerful against what was currently out so mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. So Konos uh, sorry, not Konosuba, uh, ReZero is uh, kind of a little bit out of time so it, it came out a little bit later than the Japanese edition so how do you think that changed uh, the meta game uh, a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's, it makes it a little awkward, but um, mm -hmm. it has like really good matches across the board against everything. Mm -hmm. uh, only downside to it is that the end game isn't very strong. Right, but right. You can slowly uh, kill your opponent that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe we'll see some re zero today, but I'm not sure. But all right, I think so. They're going to start the match right now. So. What, what series do you play, actually? Uh, right now, actually, the most I play is Konosuba. Konosuba, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. It so you'll be like pretty familiar Konosuba. with it. Oh, he yeah. just ditched all five of his cards right there. Uh, if you guys were just... Yeah, the screen just switched. So, yeah, he just ditched all five of his cards. Um, yeah, so actually, this matchup is pretty good for Konosuba. And mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of an even match, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that um, the Konosuba player has level one union combo, mm -hmm. and they're actually able to farm against uh, their opponent's level one. Right. It's when they move into level two, it's going to be kind of tricky if uh, mm -hmm. Sunshine can uh, set up their board correctly. Mm. So what, cards, uh, what kind of cards would we be looking at at level two, level one? Uh, so... Uh, for at least for Konosubo, he's looking to get as many unions in his hand mm -hmm. because it'll be really easy to get reverses at level one against right. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, moving on, um, most likely if he plays the one zero uh, backup that yeah. removes early plays, uh, that'd be a really important key piece. Uh, but I haven't seen anyone play it today, so we'll right. see what happens there. Okay, well, so it seems like the first attack was uh, went in all the way three damage there, so he's uh, putting up an early lead. Uh, his opponent is. Is it checking power there? Maybe? Oh, just one guy? Okay. Yep. And gate early on for uh, Sunshine there is a little tough because they don't have a lot of uh, easy ways to pay that out, pay that mm. out without having a brainstorm or anything right, like that. Right, right. So we'll see if they'll be able to pay that out. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck in stock there. Mm -hmm. So actually, most decks nowadays, they still play like a heavy early game, like uh, stock farming and then yeah, into for, a late for game. the most part. Um, yeah. Sunshine, though, does play a little differently. They're really aggressive at level 2 with their double early plays. Mm -hmm. And then a uh, little thing about Konosuba is that it actually usually the set uh, or the current deck doesn't play any Brainstormers because of mm -hmm. that level 0 Union in the back row right. actually lets you get one card every turn for one stock. So if you wow. generate one stock uh, every turn, you get an extra card, basically. So it's actually much easier for the Konosuba deck right now to pay out that stock than yeah. <laughs> compared to the... Yeah. Alright, okay, cool. So it looks like he's going to... Does that seem suit Megumin? Okay. Is it going? Is he going to hit level one already? It's just pretty fast. <laughs> Didn't cancel the first attack, so right now we're like. Uh, yeah, if he's getting into level one here, well, oh. it's, it's kind of rough because we have the runner on board too. So right. the only way he's going to get a double plus this uh, the next turn is if he tri filled to the Chica level one, mm. which is probably unlikely because of how fast they hit level one. Yeah, he didn't have any time at all to set up anything, so he's kind of a. Uh, it's kind of an epical here, I would say. He has two climaxes in the hand as well. Oh, <laughs> that might have been why. <laughs> Seems pretty bad. Hopefully, he can recover from now on. So let's see what he has uh, going on for him at level one. 
Yeah, the one thing about that level zero mm -hmm. kind of that just went to waiting room, which is really nice, is that it lets you set up your draw for next turn since it lets you top check when it does go to waiting room. Right, 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 right. It's actually pretty nice. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw their, uh, the level zero brainstorm uh, for right. uh, Sunshine R Rika. I'm kind of surprised that, or Rico, I'm surprised that he is running it. Uh, usually, most people actually go for the Hanamaru because um, it's easier on the back row because as soon as you hit level two, you always want to tap your level two support to mm -hmm. top check. Yeah. And so it makes it really tough to decide between brainstorming and uh, playing or and top checking. And oh, usually, you right, really, right. really want to top check for your early plays. Right, right. This, this card is actually pretty good, right, the level two because. Yeah, it's really aggressive. Mm. Okay, he's going all out here with a. Uh, is that all level zeros? Uh, no, they're all. Oh, level yeah, ones. All level ones. Level yeah, ones. So there's right, a little Chica yep. combo there, and because he didn't get it. Oh, I'm surprised. He okay. doesn't have. <laughs> yeah. uh, he does not even have the right uh, climax for it. So like, he's pretty, pretty much in a bad spot. But at least, yeah. at least the Chica level ones will be able to uh, reverse his opponent's uh, characters on defense since they do uh, reverse uh, level ones and lower when they do get reversed. Right, right, right. <laughs> Seems like his opponent is not going up at all. So. That's two damage. Goes in. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> that was pretty fast. <laughs> uh, leveling up blue there. So uh, the Kono Super deck usually runs just um, um, blue and red, and sometimes mm -hmm. a little bit of yellow. But I think. Uh, He's only playing blue red in this build. Yep, haven't seen any yellow cards so far. No, he's rifling through there. Nope, yeah. nope, nope. I didn't get a really good look at his hand. I don't know how many unions he has. Yeah, he only has one level union, or level mm. one union in his yeah. hand. Ideally, he'd like to get two more because it's an easy build uh, board to reverse here. Uh, it seems like he didn't get any, so maybe maybe he should hold it off. He should okay. So in this kind of situation, would you would you hold off if you couldn't use like the the combo for one card because this quite a bit of advantage to be using it, you know, like multiple. Yeah, it, it's a hard decision to make for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but he's able to actually pitch one ah, of the climaxes to right. get one back with the uh, Mega Min um, uh, runner there. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so he has at least two, which is not bad. Looks like you have to make do with just two copies, I guess. I wonder if he'll spin the stock to see if he can try to get another one out of his deck. I didn't see in his waiting room whether he had more than two. No, it seems like he's yeah. going to go ahead and use just with two. So uh, let's run through the uh, the combo for Mega Man there. So what does it do, really? Uh, so yeah, so um, the combo for Union there, uh, when she reverses her battle opponent, mm -hmm. you get a blind stock, one from the top of your deck, and then right. you reveal the next card. And if it's level one or higher, uh, you can add it to hand. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, uh, gaining any extra stock with this deck actually translates to more cards in your hand uh, the following turn because the level mm -hmm. zero union in the back row is so powerful. Right, 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 right. So it's really just a perfect match, mm -hmm. kind of. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty much. Okay, so just checking the waiting room for a little bit there. It looks like uh, the Konosuba player is only out four right now because he just triggered a gate. Yep. So he's in a pretty decent position. Hopefully he doesn't blind stock any climaxes. Um, if he doesn't, he'll be in a really great position to win That's the game. That's the worst thing though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, you just don't know if you if you stocked away your climaxes or not until yeah, you yeah. got through your entire deck. I, th I think that's one of the best changes that came. You know, like mm -hmm. the old stock climaxes were pretty much like oh, always yeah. blind stock. Yeah. But now it comes from the waiting room is so much so less much, stress yeah, on yourself. Less stressful for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's still going for his third attack. Look, yeah, he's really building up all the stock. Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, for the next oh he does. Wow. He runs the level one uh, anti-level three early out card. Right. So he'll... Mm -hmm. so it puts the Sunshine player in a really bad position because it's really easy for the Konosuba player to discard hand, especially when it looks like he's already so far ahead. Right. Uh, just to get rid of like uh, the Yo level three or the Chica level three on the early play. So it's going to force the Sunshine player to side attack as soon as they hit level two, unfortunately. Right, right, right. So it seems like our Konosuba player is definitely way ahead right now, so uh, 
hit on damage, he's a hit on, on board state. I think he's, he's, way, he's way more stock. Yeah. And his hand size is pretty pretty healthy. Yeah, he's in a really good position. If I was a Konosuba player, I'd feel like I'm already winning the game. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, right? So, yeah. It's not really a lot that the uh, Sunshine player can do right now. I yeah, think. their hand doesn't look too amazing right now, but hopefully uh, the Ruby level 1 will be able to find them something if he ends up using it. Definitely stressing about it right now. Yeah, <laughs> right knows. now is a really hard decisions <laughs> to make because this will probably make or break the game mm. where they can make it back. So did you get a glimpse of his hand? Looks like there was uh, quite a few repeats there. Yeah, or, uh, it yeah, kind of looked like it is all in-game stuff there. Right, right, right. I think right. I see at least, uh, I know the two one support is in there. Yeah. Um, but it kind of looks like it just clogged with a lot of stuff he can't deal with right now. Mm. Well, at least the Sunshine player found the Climax, so he'll be able to at least do the Chica combo this turn against that mm -hmm. level 1 Union there, mm -hmm. and hopefully kind of salvage this game here. It is def definitely in a tough position for him. So it seems like the Sunshine player is pretty much playing like a Near near standard build for his uh, level three game. Level yeah, two, level pretty three much. Game. Pretty much. Yeah. So maybe just run us through like uh, there was a there was a chica that early summons, correct? Yeah. So uh -huh. there is a chica that early summons. If you have the two one support in your clock, right. That also, when you early summon the chica, you can pay one extra stock to be able to pull out the yo level three from waiting room, and then the yo level three. Uh, burns on attack depending on the top card of your deck build right, right, level, right. which is really really powerful at level two. Right. So they were, they were talking about that card being actually pretty powerful, and like a lot of the sunshine decks are, are running it. Like almost everybody's playing it more or less. Yeah, yeah. So because you get to so check powerful. the top of the deck, and then you kind of get to control how much damage you're dealing. And yeah, and like it has that. such a big field presence at level two since you're right. playing these level threes that all get so much power. Right, 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 right. And then it looked like uh, with the stock soul. Climax, he mm -hmm. did put away the Yo level 3 into mm. his stock. That way, the following turn, if he's able to do the early play, he knows there's one in stock to pay yeah, out. So that. Oh, that's, is that yeah. the second Climax he's gone in? Or uh, cancelled? Okay. Oh, oh man. wow. That's such a huge tempo swing for the Konosuba player. Yeah. I don't know how the Sunshine player is going to make it back. I think after this turn, like more or less, it's gonna be more than a, a level's worth of like damage advantage here. So he's he's just gonna <laughs> slowly play the game. Yeah. He's slowly gonna farm up. That Definitely, stock. Kona Super player just sits back and just runs things in. Yeah, <laughs> let, let nature take its course. Right, and then right, Sunshine right. will slowly be <laughs> lose the game. We might not even see um, the Kona Super player hit level three here. Like considering the gap. Like I mean, if he doesn't cancel one or two more attacks, that's. Yeah, but at least really he's like tough. gathering back some resources. He seems to be uh, doing better on stock right now. Um, so hopefully this is this will be less one-sided from now on. So we were talking about just now. So like uh, both decks aren't really playing like that many Rage Storms. Mm. Is that uh, so? I, from what I remember from the past, like a lot of people like, tend to have play. Like multiple copies of brainstorms. So is that a new thing? Uh... Yeah. So for Konosuba, it definitely is because uh, that union was just so powerful that there's no reason for you to actually play a brainstorm. Mm -hmm. And then Sunshine, usually you kind of want to. It's like a deck you want to high roll a lot with more right. than anything right, right, because right. if you get really lucky, then your opponent just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see, did you see if uh, the Konosuba player had a gate in his hand right now? Because uh, he stopped on that Union, which is a really good card to pick up right now if he's able to uh, Climax combo again. Mm, it, seems, it seems like he's thinking about it because uh, I suspect they, oh wow, okay. 
Well, I guess better than, than triggering those two. <laughs> and seems like he doesn't have the climax. It does not, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have. Yeah, but he's still in a pretty good position. I mean, he's fairly compressed. Uh, he did mill those two climaxes though just now, but we'll yeah. see what happens here. But like you said, I think he's pretty much just content, like slowly, you know, just chipping damage in. Uh, yeah, for sure. This is definitely a game where you just want to slowly chip away at your opponent because you already had such an advantage. Right, right, right. He doesn't have to invest any more like hand cards. He just yeah. just replenish what you know what yeah. his opponent took down and then slowly play his game. Yeah, one I thing. I think he's pretty set up already as well, right? Yeah, like pretty much. Like one thing that's really nice about the Konosuba deck is that it has a really explosive end game. Mm -hmm. So I mean, once he hits level three, it's pretty easy to just close out the game from there. Mm. So how much how much stock does he need? He's he's building. He seems to be <laughs> way much more than he, than he needs at this point. Looks like Konosuba player is trying to decide whether he's going to use the level 0 Mega Man effect where once it goes to the waiting room, he can discard a card to look up top 4 mm -hmm. and then add one magic character to hand. Mm, that's handy. Oh, oh looks I like he didn't not. do it. Yep. Okay. Is it me or is it like uh, the, love, the Sunshine player has just been like starting his turn on empty boards all, yeah, that's all, 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 all the time. Yeah. Sunshine definitely doesn't have like a board presence until level 2, right, but right. right now it doesn't look very good for him. His hand kind of looks like a mess right now, but yeah. uh, it looks like he got the 2-1 uh, mm -hmm. support into clock, so he'll be able to early play as long as he has the Chica. Looks like he does. So maybe we'll see a slight change in the, the tempo of the game now. It seems like he's doing pretty okay. Managed to recover a little bit. Oh. Is there one in waiting room? There is. All right. So this is like the only way the Sunshine player is going to make it back here is if uh, the Yo uh, early play that he just pulled out from waiting room, mm -hmm. if it hits a lot of level threes off of the top, <laughs> he can maybe cheese his way back into the game, make it a little bit more even. Uh, but we got to remember too that the Konosuba player did pick up the one zero counter, right, so right, it's going right. to force him to side everything. Mm -hmm. Because if he fronts anywhere, he's just going to lose his uh, advantage. He's going to get off of these level threes that come out because they're right. just so big, massive that it's too hard uh, for the Konosuba player to reverse them. All right. So right now he's praying for a level three top check here off of. Uh, there we go. Let's see what he gets. A level oh. zero. Ooh. Oh, that's rough. So what do you think he's looking for here right now? So uh, yeah, looking for another copy of that Kanon, because uh, <laughs> it does save cards and kind of set up your draw whenever a character dies, mm -hmm. and that's what he really, really needs right now. Yeah, it's definitely what he seems to be thinking yeah. as well right now at this point. Surprised wow. he went for another 2-1 uh, support there. Oh yeah, the finally game from got the beginning it. of the yeah, game. Finally got it out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's really hard to right. pay out that climax right in the beginning of the game for Sunshine. Yeah, he's been sitting on it for three, four turns already. Seems like he's thinking about the switching it around. Okay, so how does this change uh, for the Konosuba player? So right now, because he, the search player pretty much just like um, managed to set up the ideal level two, yeah. right? So even though he was kind of on the back <laughs> foot here, uh, he actually managed to set up like a, a decent ball. So what do you think the Konosuba player has to be? Yeah, doing if I right was now? the Konosuba player at this point, I'd be praying that my opponent forgot that I have the counter in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, um, you just gotta hope that the yellow level three doesn't top check any level threes or twos, because right. those can really hurt if you're not very compressed already. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll see if uh, the Sunshine player will be able to remember that he did get the 1-0 counter earlier. It's going to be rough for him if he doesn't. Because, I mean, he, he, he did kind of claw his way back, so mm. losing that advantage would be, would be really, really bad. Okay, here we go. All right. 
onto refresh here. Yeah, I think if Sunshine doesn't get the level 3 top check off of the Yo or anything here, it's going to be so hard to win this game. Yeah, because he's, 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 yeah, he's to be trying yeah, to like... He's almost a, yeah, he's a whole level behind at this point. Right, right. It's really tough. I'm sure the Konosuba player right now is like grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be in this position. Especially at uh, top eight here. I just, I guess he just doesn't want to see like the damage mm -hmm. go in from the from the next attack. Otherwise, you know, he's actually pretty, still pretty in a stable, pretty stable position at this point, I guess. So refresh. Uh, that's that's what the Sunshine player needs to get back into the game there. A burn three. Ouch. Mm. Oh. Wow. And just like that. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yep. If this can happen a couple more times, the game will be way more even. And more <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. That was two damage? Three? Three damage. Or oh, four for the direct oh attack there. God. Ooh. <laughs> and just, just like, like that, that. It, it could be yep. anybody's game at this point. <laughs> yep. Sunshine is just one of those decks. Yeah. Oh, that wow. You, you think you're behind, but uh, it's, it'll work out, it work itself out all in the end. <laughs> the yellow level three. Oh, and he just drew a climax. Ouch. That has to sting. So right now he's uh, is he ready? Is but I think he's had enough time to prepare, right? So the Konosuba play isn't really shouldn't be too concerned, should he? Yeah, it's it's not too bad of a position right now. He has a uh, Aqua early play in mm -hmm. his hand, so he'll, that might come out here. Oh, he's actually oh. gonna go up to three. Oh, is he gonna go for it right now? All right, so yeah, this Megumin mill three. Oh, that's pretty good for him. So since he milled three characters, his mm -hmm. opponent's gonna burn one, and he's gonna get a free stock from that. Mega Moon effect and then minus 4k somewhere on the field. Mm -hmm. If you hit three characters here, does it mean that his deck is actually like, you know... Did he draw any other climaxes? Do you think there's still other climaxes left in his deck? That seems like a pretty thin at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping that well of a track here. Yep. Seems like they're just... Oh, it looks like there's a little confusion of the effects here. Mm. All right, there we go. Seems like they're... Oh, they got it already, yeah. All right, second one. One more. Hopefully he gets another burn here. That'd be nice. Oh. oh. That's really sad. Yeah, it's too bad. Looks like four climaxes in waiting room, one in his hand. Yeah, Konosuba is definitely in a like tough position now for sure. <laughs> Actually, would you would you have done it in the same way? So, so you, we said that uh, he had the the uh, Aqua early summon, right? So would you have gone to level three if you were him? Or would you have like tried to hold uh, it out? And I would have uh, tried to hold it out and just traded the stock in for more uh, hand advantages that way, mm -hmm. and then you know try to heal a little bit early on and see what happens. So Aqua does heal, right? So yeah, she yeah. Play, when so she comes into play, you discard a card and you can put the top part of your clock into your stock, which is very nice. It's oh, like which a, is better than a heal, kind of. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Especially I saw Kanta running around in the room, so if anyone right. has anti heal. Right, 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 right. It's pretty nice.
looked like the Kono Super player might have refreshed with only five climaxes. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a pretty tough position to be in. Hopefully, he doesn't trigger any. Uh, yikes. But it seems like his deck is still pretty thin, so maybe that's not too bad for him. Seems, uh. But if he's gonna go for, for the. For the uh... Oh, wow. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's going in deep. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking out the climaxes though, so it's not too. Oh, Ooh. oh, he kind of missed the. At least he'll be able to get the minus 4k on Yo there. Hopefully, be able to reverse Yo now. Should put Yo around like 9,000 power, I believe. Yep, there's the Aqua. And then he's probably going to ditch here to heal. Yep, nice. Yep. To be honest, for this, for the uh, Sunshine player, it's still not too bad, right? So even if his, his field gets cleared out, here he's going to be at level 3. So he's, on the backswing, it might be worse for the Konosuba player, if you really think so. Yeah, for sure. I mean, oh, oh. right off the top. Yeah. <laughs> Going for 4 here. Hopefully this sticks. Oh, wow, it sticks. Oh. <laughs> Are we going back to level 1? Is, that, is this a rerun of uh, what happened in the start? The Konosubo player here top checks uh, two soul, uh, two soul trigger here. It could be game. <laughs> it could be game, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't. <laughs> right. Close though. Speaking of Megumi for the next turn as well. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so he cancels when it matters. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely cancels when it matters. I think, I think the Sunshine player might three cost the Yo here. So I think Konosu the Konosuba player just milled out two Climaxes from their deck, and I think mm -hmm. they refreshed with five, maybe six, so they're definitely in a tough spot now after that. I'd be, I'd be sweating. Mm. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be sweating. Because, <laughs> mm. I mean, another one of those, like, three damage yeah. goes in, he's not going to be in for a fun time at all. So he's, he's already at level three since he put himself there uh, in the previous turn. So we'll see. Oh, okay. Okay, he's going to shuffle back a bunch of cards into the Konosuba player's deck. This is pretty bad for him. So we're looking at maybe four Climaxes in the deck? Around four, maybe? Slightly less? Oh, that, oh okay, it looks pretty thick right now. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely not going to be fun for him. In a, even if like these attacks can I, he doesn't even need the Yo anymore. He's just going yeah. to punch right through. Hopefully get in there with vanilla swings. Maybe he has a climax in hand. Yeah, just because that's a really thick deck now. Right, right, right. Like so you said, there's only like probably four climaxes into that deck. Right. So just do it the old-fashioned way, right? Just, yep. Just <laughs> no effects. Just yep. beat it in. Yep. <laughs> like playing a trial deck. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not so fair. Like, trial decks now are pretty strong, I think. Yeah, a lot uh, of the trial deck pluses are pretty good and out of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, some of the level threes are actually playable. I would yeah, say. you yeah. see, you see some of them in decks running around the meta right now. Right, right, right. I used to, rem I remember like the old days where the the trial decks you just bought them for maybe a couple of the cards. Like you want the the trial deck exclusives maybe. Yeah, like one yeah. or two cards, and then everything else was just right. like and, whatever. And then maybe if the level three was really strong, then you want to buy like a couple for the level threes. Yeah. But that's about it. So it's, good. It's, it's actually pretty nice to see how the game has changed a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to the attack already. Are we? Are we? No? It's gonna take that. Okay, I don't think he can finish him off this turn, but... It doesn't look like it. But he's pretty nicely set up for the next few turns, I, I would well, say. Well, there like, is still uh, double soul triggers in the Sunshine as true, well. True, true. <laughs> Both players playing right. stock soul, I believe, so... So he does hit a double soul trigger here, and... It could be game. <laughs> could be game. It's the fun part about Weiss, you never know. Right. <laughs> 
Oh, oh one only trigger. one trigger. All right. So if he takes this, he's kind of stuck. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of rough. Yep. He's stuck here in a position he can't clock now. Right. So hopefully he can make do with what he has. He, I remember he picked up a Megumi in the previous turn, so he should be, should be okay. Is it one climax? Yeah, it looked like only one. Looks like he's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's going for it. Yep. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so good for the Konosuba player here. He gets the pink for one. Yep, every time he swings for three, it's gonna be for lethal here. Oh, Ooh, wow. both those cards are really good. Both level three Mega Mins he revealed. Let's see what he ends up picking up here. All right, yeah, I would have made that same yeah. decision, too. He'll be able to play that and burn for five if he'd like. And also, uh, it does let him play a card out for free. So mm -hmm. he could play the Aqua from set one to force his opponent to shuffle a bunch of cards back into his deck. Right. Which looks like it's going to happen. Oh, wow. So he can pay one here. And then his opponent has to pick two Climaxes in his waiting room, uh, put them in the waiting room, and then shuffle everything back. Oh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, he's checking it now. This might be it for Sunshine. Yep. Seems like that was only two climaxes. Yep. There's no more climaxes going back into the deck, I think. This is definitely a tough position for him. Oh, no. So he doesn't really need to do anything more, right? So the Konosuba player is just going to swing in and then... Yeah. If um, anything connects right now, it's just, it's just it's game over. He, he has four attacks, essentially, here. Right. Um, worst case scenario is he has to hopefully trigger on the Aqua attack. Mm -hmm. But uh, right. looking at it right now, most likely, <laughs> it might be over before then. <laughs> I mean, but I think uh, it's still a pretty close game, Like even though you know, yep. the Sunshine play was yep. behind at the start. So uh, it'd be a little bit of a miracle if he survives, yeah, but maybe <laughs> maybe he can still pull something off. Yep, that is the power of Sunshine, though. You're it's always true. in the game with that the Yo combo. That is true. We saw that at level 2. That's, yeah. that's really true. Konosuba player here trying to make sure <laughs> the yep. damage gets stacked on Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he shuffled all, that, yep. all those cards, all the climaxes better the be on them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're both sweating right now. <laughs> I, I, I would be. I would be if I was either one of them. I have sweaty palms, so it's not going to be fun. <laughs> He's going to move to attacks soon. Now? Right. All right, let's see. So that's three. Four. Four. Oh. A little bit over, but... Ooh. Okay, gets it on two. That's okay. It's all right. Maybe this burn five will go through if he goes for it. <laughs> That'd be pretty epic. The this, this oh, <laughs> he's doing it. <laughs> yep. Five? Are you sure? Five? <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's gonna. Four. four. Oh, 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 oh wow. with the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. I mean I mean we knew that was gonna happen, right? Since, yeah. since we had all the all the non climax cars going back into the deck, but but still to see it in action. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always funny when you're playing yeah. the Mega Man and burn for five and it sticks, you just you feel so good. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he's happy that he picked that over the other Mega Man. Yes, definitely. for sure, for sure. Yeah, wow. But um but that was five damage still, like you know, he didn't um there was no escaping that. Even though he, even if he took the other Mega Min, I think that would have still gone in. Yeah. And uh, he would still have won the game. So, uh, well, so what do you think? So this kind of panned out a little bit one-sided uh, at the start, right? So we had a lot of the Sunshine player hitting level one really, really fast, but he kind of clawed back in, like you said, with the with the Yo yeah, yeah. The early that. plays are just so powerful for Sunshine. You can always come back 
from any like horrible position you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, though, the Konosuba player, for the Sunshine player that is, right. um, was able to get uh, multiple combos off and yeah. build all that resource so he could do things like this late game, which, right, is, right, right, which right. is great for Konosuba. Yeah, yeah, he, like we said, he kind of assembled like the perfect kind of field at level yeah. 2 as well. So he, yeah. he really recovered pretty well, except that, you know, um, I guess the Kodos Buckley managed to find the right cards at the yeah. right time there. Yep, and Burn yeah. 5 is a thing, so... Burn 5 is a thing! <laughs> burn 5 is definitely a thing. Uh, that's pretty crazy. So, uh, I think uh, that's it for the quarterfinals. So, uh, I believe uh, the next game will be coming up pretty soon. So, do stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, we've, I've been Matthew, so this has been Kit. So, do check out his channel if you have the time, yeah? Do you want to say, say anything about the, uh, the game? Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty exciting game, especially mm -hmm. once Sunshine was able to crawl itself back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Definitely way more interesting. <laughs> yes. All right, so I think that's all we have for you today. So we just uh, stay tuned for the next game.